Massive breaking news here on Morning Footy. We have the roster for the U.S. Under-23 Men's National Team's November mm. Camp, and it features several friends of the show. Hello. Congrats to New York Red Bull star John Tolkien, San Jose Earthquakes forward Cade Cowell, and Venezia midfielder Gianluca Busio, who are three of the 20 players head coach Marco Mitrovic has called up for training camp in Spain ahead of the friendlies against Iraq on Saturday and November 21st against Morocco. Charlie, another important camp uh, preparing for the Olympics. Looking at this roster, who are you most excited to see play a key role in this uh, in this group? Well, I'm glad that Nathan Harriel is getting a look because he has shown some glimpses with the Philadelphia Union. They're in the playoffs. I, I like that. Um, Taylor Booth is another one uh, where we've seen uh, some some good things from him in Utrecht last season. I think he's had some injuries that have ha hampered his progress, but. This is going to be a, a real challenge managing this group because if you, if you get to the Olympics, that's one thing, right? They're going to the Olympics, and it's incredible. But the players you can bring down who are on the full U.S. Women's National Team roster, Chris Lund, Joe Scali, Eunice Musa, Johnny Cardoso, Kevin Paredes, Gio Reyna, Malik Tillman, Paxton Aronson, Balligan, and Pepe all can play on this team. How many, now, how many of those players are you allowed to have two still? Three. Oh, no. Three. No, Sorry. all no, these no, players are age them. eligible. All of them can play. Above wow. age for the Olympics. Then you yeah. can, three, on, three. Top, on wow. top of that, yeah. you can bring any three, three players. Three senior squads that are older right. than 23. But all those players yeah. meet the age requirement. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. So now you have to have battle which clubs will allow them to leave to play the Olympics, plus there's Copa America. So yeah. most are not going to do Copa America. Would you rather win Copa Olympics. America or the Olympics? You as one of those guys. Oh my and God! If I wow, told you, if I told you question. going into the summer, and you're one of those guys eligible for both squads mm -hmm. because of your age, what would you rather win? Copa mm -hmm. America. Yeah. It's Copa America. Really? Okay. Wow. Yes. From 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 a from a global football standpoint, you got to win Copa America you think if you can. Mm -hmm. Copa America will get you a move to a big club to Europe or to will boost your career talking, more than the Olympics. We're talking about Brazil, Argentina, Argentina, Brazil, yeah. 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 Colombia, yeah. Paraguay, Peru. Yes, if you can win that, you win it. But selfishly, as an American, we know what the Olympics means. Like, all the best athletes in the mm. world, and I get it's a youth tournament, they don't want it to compete with the World Cup, and that's why it's an under-23 tournament. But to win gold, with, with this group, hmm. what that's going to do for the country in terms of inspiring the, the next generation and just seeing them with a medal. Because I think this group has the talent if obviously you get all the top players available. This group can, can certainly medal. Hmm. And gold is a possibility. So I get hyped thinking about what this group can do. And so Marko Mitrovic, relatively unproven at, at this level. He's always been kind of a number two. Man, he's really got to harness this group together and, and figure out what's the best way to get this group to play to their potential. Mm. Mm. Amazing. Who do you, any, yeah. any, you're looking at this, this list, any player that you see that has the most to prove? Or somebody that In can, this current yeah, group? Yeah, Ooh. maybe yeah. they're on the fringe Lucia. of like. Well, well <laughs> everyone, but Joshua Tensio. So watching him play with the Seattle Sounders right now, I think he's taking big steps forward. He looks really dynamic in the mm -hmm. midfield. There's not a, you're not watching him go, oh, he's, he's, he's a youngster. No, he's, he's taking the scruff of the neck in the midfield, dictating possession, big t challenges, getting them to play on the front foot. I've really liked what I've seen from him. Uh, Esmir like Bayraktarovic, who's a New England Revolution mm -hmm. player, when he's played, he's, he's special on the ball. Not too many players like him. Um, doesn't have the pace, but he's very tricky. So that's a player I, I'm interested to see how he does at the international level. Credit to the union, by the way, for releasing Nathan Harry. Yeah, when because he, that's he didn't have important to. to remember. Mm -hmm. Duncan McGuire could be also in the mix. Orlando hasn't released him, but Jim Curtin, we know, mm -hmm. by the way, that he speaks about these opportunities. They're formative. Yeah. And we've seen Benjamin Kermaski, what he's done with Inter Miami. So his, the, his growth continue to, this to season develop. has been incredible. Also, Very look cool. out for Maximilian Dietz. Plays in Germany, but he's a midfielder turned center back, plays in a back three on the left side. A little wavy. Oh. Do you think he knows wavy. Leonard Maloney? Leonard Maloney. <laughs> <laughs> Maximilian Dietz. <laughs> Just you I'm, I'm setting the bar <laughs> at Leonard Maloney coming on the show <laughs> and wait. doing the I will Leonard wear Maloney. A fedora and trench coat <laughs> I, if he comes oh, on the show. Oh, that is going to be Leonard a, Every question I'm a like, seminal Leonard moment on Morning Footy when Leonard Maloney makes <laughs> an appearance. Great to see you again. <laughs> wow. Not just in my nightmares. <laughs>